This draw preview is brought to you by our partners at BetUS. BetUS have over 25 years experience in the sports betting market and are not only America's favorite sports book, but they offer their services to people all around the world. And they want to offer you a 125% sign up bonus on your first deposit using the link down below. Also by signing up with BetUS using the link down below, you are supporting what we do on the channel. If you love the live shows, if you love these draw previews, click the link down below to show your support for the channel. Appreciate your support everybody and let's get back to the video. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview and we have the big one. It's the Australian Open and we are going to be going through the men's tournament for the Australian Open. We have some massive first round matches and also some quarterfinal matchups as well. Let's go to the withdrawals. So all the players that are pulled out from this event. We have Fakina pulling out. We have Kyle Edmund also pulling out. Roger Federer, of course, he's not playing. Garen, Gasquet, Isner, Johnson, Cole Schreiber's not playing. Kui, Souza, Songa, and Vadasco will be missing from the 2021 event. Okay, so let's have a look at the top of the draw. Of course, Novak Djokovic is the number one seed and he will be playing against Jeremy Shardy in the first round, who's in a little bit of form in 2021. So that'll be a fun first round matchup. I expect Djokovic to win, but don't be surprised if Shardy gets a set off him. The winner of that's going to play either TFO or Travalia in the second round. Then you've got Opelka versus Lou. The winner of that's going to play either Ramos Vinoles or the number 27 seed Fritz in the second round. So Djokovic has got to be happy with that little part of the draw. Then you've got Vavrinka versus Souza. The winner of that's going to play either Fucevic or the wild card from Australia, Pullman's in the second round. Then you've got Mute versus Milman, and the winner of that's going to play either Correa or the number 14 seed, Raonic, in that second round. So you can already see that the Joker is going to have to get through Stan the Man or Milos Raonic, not to mention some of the Americans, the young Americans that are in his part of the draw. So we have potential fourth round match between Djokovic and Vavrinka. They've played some epics in the Australian Open in the past, could we be getting another one of those in the fourth round of this year's event? Second part of the draw now, we have Gael Monfils. The number 10 seed up the top, he versus Rusaveri in the first round. Winner of that plays either Nishioka or Martinez in the second round. Then you've got Bedene versus Bublek. The winner of that's going to play either the qualifier Stokowski or the number 23 seed Lajovic in the second round. Then you've got number 32 seed Manorino versus Novak. The winner of that's going to play either Kitchmenovic or Murchizac in the second round. Then you've got Daniel versus Cressy. The winner of that's going to play either Giron or the number 6 seed Sasha Zverev. So straight away you can see there potentially fourth round matchup between Zverev and Monfils. But we've got to remember that this part of the draw, the winner will play the winner of the top part of the draw, which means Djokovic Zverev could be a quarterfinal, and we've just seen them play at the ATP Cup in an absolute epic. So we could be getting a replay of that in a couple of weeks' time in that quarterfinal. Next part of the draw now, it's Dominic Team, the number three seed, he versus Kukushkin in the first round. He'll play the winner of Kopfer versus Dillion in the second round. It's not a bad start for Team. Then you've got the qualifier Silva versus one of the most dangerous unseeded players in any event, Nick Kyrgios. I know he's under an injury cloud, but he loves to play in front of the big crowds. He loves to play the big names. So watch out. He gets silver first round. Winner of that's going to play either Uchiyama or the number 29 seed Umber in the second round. Then you've got Dimitrov versus Cilic, the number 18 seed Dimitrov versus the former US Open champion. That is going to be a huge matchup first round. That's one of the popcorn matches for the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Bolt or Gompas in the second round. Then you've got Kopitiangs versus Vesely in the first round. The winner of that's going to play another popcorn first round match. Nishikori unseeded versus Karino Buster, the number 15 seed. So that's going to be a lot of fun as well. Nishikori versus Buster. Very fun, but you can see straight away Nick Kyrgios, Dominic Team third round. That could happen. He has to get through on bear does Kyrgios, which I think he can. All right, rounding out the top half of the draw now, we've got another great first round matchup. Number 11 seed Shapovalov versus Sinner in the first round. Battle of the Young Guns. Winner of that's going to play either Sagita or Tomic in the second round. Then you've got Joomher versus Duckworth. Winner of that's going to play either Steve or well, the number 20 seed, FAA, OJ Aliasim. So there could be a battle of the young Canadians happening very early. Then you've got the number 25 seed, Pear versus Jerisimov. Winner of that's going to play either Major or Karatsev in the second round. Then you've got Del Bonas versus Londero. Winner of that's going to play either Yamur or the number 8 seed, Schwartzman, in the second round. So, Shapovala versus FAA. Battle of the Canadians, that could be a lot of fun. And remember that this part of the draw, the winner of this part of the draw will play in the quarterfinals, possibly Dominic Team. Bottom half of the draw, we've got the number 7 seed, Rublev, up against Hanfman in the first round. That match will play the winner of Montero versus Martin 
in the second round. Then you've got two versus Lopez. Winner of that's going to play either Query or Sonigo, the number 31 seed in the second round. You've got the number 24 seed, Grud, up against Thompson in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Basilashvili or Paul, which is a fun little matchup. Then you've got O'Connell versus Struff. The winner of that's going to play either Albert or the number 12 seed, Batista Agu. So again, this could be an epic battle if we get Batista Agu versus Rublev fourth round. We actually might be seeing that at the ATB Cup if Russia versus Spain in the final we could be getting a preview of that in a couple of days' time. All right, next part of the bottom half of the draw, we've got Goffin versus Poprin. So Goffin, the number 13 seed against the wild card. The winner of that will be playing either Harris or Torpegaard in the second round. Then you've got McDonald versus Cecchinato. Winner of that's going to play either Pella or the number 22nd seed, Chorich in the second round. Number 28 seed, Krajinovic, gets a lucky loser in the first round, Hase. The winner of that's going to play the Anduha or Alice in the second round. Then you've got Bayana versus Balash. Winner of that's going to play either Pospisil or the number four seed, Medvedev. And that is a terrible first round for Medvedev. Pospisil is a very dangerous player. And when he's playing his best and he's healthy, he is a dangerous customer. So Medvedev's going to have to fight to get through his first round match. And remember, the winner of this part of the draw will potentially play Rublev in the quarterfinals. So we could potentially get a Medvedev versus Rublev quarterfinals. Second last part of the draw here, we have Stefano Tsitsipas, the number five seed, up against Simon. First round, that's a very tough match for Steph. So Tsitsipas is going to have to fight for that one. Winner of that's going to play the Kokonakis or Quan in the second round. Then you have Vander Zanschulp in the first round versus Alcarez, Battle of the Qualifiers. The winner of that match will play the Yamur or the number 26 seed, Herkatch, who is in a little bit of form at the moment, won a tournament at the start of the year and could be playing Tsitsipas in the third round, which would be a very interesting matchup, potential upset on the cards there. Number 19 seed, Hashinov will versus Vukic in the first round. Winner of that will play either Barenkis or Nagal in the second round. Then we have Mashash versus Martinez in the first round, Battle of the Qualifiers. The winner of that will play another blockbuster first round popcorn match. Kevin Anderson versus the number nine seed, Berrettini. That is a huge match. Can't wait to see that one. Anderson's on a bit of a comeback because of injury or through injury. Berrettini, he's got to prove that he's worth that top 10 seeding and he has a tough first round. Of course, if we project this out, more than likely we're going to get Sitsi Pass versus Berrettini. But again, maybe that doesn't happen. Herkatch, Hashinov, Anderson, very dangerous players in this part of the draw. So the last part of the draw, you have Fabio Fanini, the number 16 seed, up against Herbert in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Laxanen or Caruso in the second. Then you've got Cuevos versus Seppi in the first round there. Battle of the Veterans. Winner of that's going to play either Sangren or the number 21 seed, Alex Diminor in the second round. So Diminor versus Sangren, quarterfinals of last year versus the Australian Young Gun. That'll be a fun match there, first round. Then you've got a Battle of the Brits with the number 30 seed, Dan Evans taking on Cam Norrie. Winner of that's going to play either Vashka or Safiulin in the second round. Then you have Battle of the Qualifiers, Mo versus Troitsky. The winner of that's going to play either Jera or the second seed, Rafa Nadal who, in my opinion, has a much, much easier draw than Novak Djokovic. It's very interesting to see how Rafa barely has anyone to compete with until maybe the fourth round or even the quarterfinals where he'll probably take on Pass or Berrettini if we go by the rankings. So Nadal, he's got to be happy with his part of the draw. Not too much to worry about until maybe the second week. And of course, Medvedev's waiting up the top. We could get a Medvedev versus Nadal semi-final if the seedings play out. So there it is. That is the Australian Open men's draw for 2021. It's a hell of a draw. There are so many good matches in the first round. And there's going to be some potential clashes in the second, third, and fourth rounds. Going with my predictions now, I predicted at the end of last year that Dominic Team was going to win the Australian Open. So I'm going to stick with Dommy. I know he's had a tough road at the start of 2021, but I'm going to stick with Dominic Team. He's in a tough part of the draw, but I think it's manageable, especially if Djokovic can't get through Vavrinka or Zverev. Team might have a little bit of a good run to the final, and then he might play Nadal or Medvedev, and I'd put him as the favorite against those guys. So I'm going to pick Dominic Team. Let me know down in the comments below as well. Who are you picking for this tournament? I'm going with Team. I'm sticking with Team. A lot of people probably think Nadal's going to win after looking at the draw. So the Men's Australian Open draw is in, and there are some great first-round matches. Not easy for Nole.